when Dr. Shackley started this company uh, 55 years ago, I bet you he spent at least a year of his time never talking to as many people as are in this room today. And from that, a global company that has resonated across the world with an idea of giving people better health and treating them in such a way that they can have a better life has lasted for this long a period of time. So as I look at you, I look at you and I see the ability to create entire new businesses and companies. Companies the size of what Shackley is today from the people in this room. You're experienced, you're motivated, you look great. <laughs> Something. <laughs> Uh, and, and I think you've learned maybe the most important lesson again, which is the hardest one to teach, is the long-term value of what the business is. So I want to introduce another idea to you, which is called generational income. Generational income. Because it's so rare that people ever think about generational income. We have a Shackley family, which is based here in the Northern California area, which the grandparents, uh, our top right is master coordinator. So the uh, grandparents started the Shackley business, and they are were master coordinators. And they, children, their 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 son took over, and became a Shackley master coordinator. And now their granddaughter took over and became Shackley master coordinators. And they're earning about four hundred thousand dollars a year in income. That grandmother, that granddaughter, is now a grandmother herself. So her daughter is doing a Shackley business, and their youngest grand oldest grandchild is fourteen years old. So in four years you will have one, two, three, four, five generations of the same family earning a six plus figure income off a business that was started five generations before. And if you now marry the idea of what you'll learn about in our compensation plan of where we brought infinity, and you take an infinite payment and you do it across time, Generations of families, not like generation of leaders, one, two, three. Generations of families, and then across space to other countries. It is a mind-blowing idea. When we started this company, the revolutionary idea was for the first time, you could get rewarded not just for your personal sales, but also for the sales of somebody else that you would help mentor. That's when Dr. Shackley pioneered the idea of multi-level compensation. Okay, at the time, Avon was, was, was the lead company. That one idea turned Shackley into a Fortune 500 company. And as we sit here in the Northern California area, and we look and have been watching Facebook since it was founded, and it's in our blood here to look at venture capital and social networking and all those, because it's part of our it's part of the culture of this area. You know, I came to the conclusion that if you are not rewarding people for infinity, you are yesterday's technology. Because in tomorrow's world, people are going to be connected at a scale unprecedented. We're already connecting at a scale unprecedented in human history. Technology is taking the friction out of sharing. And so we want to leapfrog all the other companies, particularly the companies of our scale, size, and history because we had guts enough to make a change and continue to innovate in the future. And now you can get rewarded for infinity across space, time, and geography. It's a powerful compensation idea. And we did that because we believe that there is equity or fairness in the fact that people, you, are creating the value for our business. We forget, we forget. You know, my, my family for many years owned a company called Burberry, the clothing company. And um, my dad took it over about 15 years ago. And Burberry was a hundred and something year old company at the time. And its average customer age was 65 years old. And the only word that you could use not, you know, the opposite of Burberry was fashionable in its, <laughs> at that time, okay? It was a, invented the raincoat a hundred and something years ago, which was cutting edge for its time, but it was tired and old, but it had a heritage to it that people believed in quality. And my father had a vision, and he said, we can make this into one of the leading global luxury brands in the world. And people thought he was crazy. They're like, there's no way to do it. Today, 
Uh, Burberry sells more bikinis than they do raincoats. Among all the consumer product companies in the world, it has more friends on Facebook. It just passed the two million person mark. And it is considered by Forbes to be one of the top four luxury global fashion brands in the world. And it took 10 years. But here's what's interesting. After 10 years of investment and time and change and, and renovation, it has now about 20 years of guaranteed success in front of it, growth, because it can expand from fashion into accessories, into, into other licensing arrangement, and across the countries around the world. And if you invest the time, and it doesn't happen overnight, right? It's going to take 10 years. Then you can plan for long-term sustained growth. And what you want to be in is in a business that will have long-term sustained compound growth. Because that's how you can provide not only for yourself, but for your family. So let me go back now to, to Shackley. Why I, why I chose Shackley? Reputation. The foundation that you couldn't replicate. You couldn't pay. You, look, it cost 300 and something million dollars to buy Shackley at the time. You couldn't invest $300 million to get that kind of brand equity, product portfolio, quality history, reputation, and network. It was one of the great purchases of all time. But again, the value of that is only because it had to grow. So I always called it a half a billion dollar startup. We are a half a billion dollar startup. Just like Burby was a 100 year old company that could be turned into a fashion, luxury, trend setting company. You can transform companies if they have the substance. So that's that. The second thing is we're in health. You gotta be in health if you wanna be in a growth business. You know that, you, you, you understand the importance of health. Health, if you wanna grow, look at all the business trends. Business, social, and demographic. Demographic is, you can't fight demographics. So people are getting older, the baby boomers are huge. There is a billion people in China and India who just wanna get access to protein just want to get access to protein. But you've got trends which are just pushing you forward, which I've never seen you know, a, a business where you can whiteboard out and I'd be like, all the factors for growth, whatever they are. Say, what are the growth industries? Okay, well you've got an older demographic in the developed world and you've got people trying to clamor up to be lower to middle class, what we would call them, in the developing world. So that's about, right now, about two billion people who are driving that business. Then you've got health. We as a society treat health as follows. We say, wait till you get sick, and then we'll make you healthy. That's healthcare in this country. And we can't afford that anymore. We're gonna have to keep people healthy so they don't get sick. That's prevention. There's gonna be hundreds of billions of dollars shifted over the next five, 10 years from waiting till you get sick to keeping you healthy. And as one of the pioneers of prevention, we think we're gonna benefit from that as you grow. Then you say, what's the biggest social phenomenon? These social networking sites where people take the friction out of communicating with each other. Well, what if you could reward people for word of mouth referral? I mean, I'll never forget, you guys would get a laugh at this. I was on an airplane back from London, the front page of the Financial Times. Financial Times is like the European combination of the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal. It says, on the front page, it says, Procter & Gamble has discovered that the single greatest influence of a purchase decision is a word of mouth referral from somebody that you know and trust, <laughs> right? And I, Lord knows how many dollars, okay, they spent on that research, which is something that you understand and know. So, so that's what it's about. People are just discovering, it's like a new idea for people because um, I have to tell you that our industry has been existing in a parallel universe. It really has been existing. I mean, when I was looking at this business, I don't know anybody who is a member of any direct selling company. And I wish someone had talked to me because I could have joined Shackley instead of spending over $300 million, I could have spent less than $300 and still had the same growth opportunities for this business if just one of you had talked to me about Shackley at the time. So, so it's, but the idea, it's revolutionary. The idea is revolutionary. And the idea that, that, that you make your most by helping somebody else be successful is probably one of the most beautiful ideas that I know. It's one of the clever, cleverest, 
most honest and beautiful ideas is to make somebody as selfish as they can be. They will not be successful unless they help somebody else be successful as well. That's a fantastic idea. That's the good side of our business. And if you couple that with a company with impeccable reputation and products that are proven to work, you know what our average customer in Chakri is? 17.4 years. 17.4 years. There's no way somebody will continue. That's average. Okay? Would continue to buy products for 17.4 years if they don't work. And because they work, and because they work for so long, that's where the residual income, which is a term that's bandied about, but five generations of residual income of families earning off people sharing Shackley products. I don't want to say that everybody who takes Shackley products reorders the next month, but, but those that can take it for a period of time stay with us for decades. And so when you introduce someone to Shackley, that's where you get the rewards. It's month in, month out. I go around a Shackley meeting. You're going to be part of Shackley meetings. I always ask, how many people have been using Shackley products for five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 25 years? You'd be amazed how many people were doing that. And there's something which is, there's no scientific evidence that we have about this. But anecdotally, people look 10 years younger than they are. I am 100% convinced that if you take nutrition for a long period of time, that it will make you look younger. I'm not making that promise, but that's my own belief. What we have done is we've done the largest long-term supplement usage study ever done. We took people who took a combination of Shackley products for 20 years or more. And we did this with the Berkeley School of Public Health at the University of California, one of the leading public health institutions in the country, and showed that they had better health than people who just took a multivitamin or people who took no supplements whatsoever. And at first, we were just going to compare them to people who took no supplements. And our scientists said, Roger, if you really believe, like we do, that the Shackley products are different and they're better, have the guts to compare it against somebody who took somebody else's multivitamin. And by the way, when you do these studies, we have no control over the publishing of it. I mean, the results are the results. This is a third party peer-reviewed, published clinical study, and we can't tell them what to say. So it was, a, it was a calculated risk, I would like to say, because we believed in what our products were, and sure enough, it proved to be better. So um, let me go tell you. So all the investment criteria, we're in the health business, we're in, the, in providing opportunities for people, we're uh, in the social trend of social networking and monetizing so word of mouth referrals. We have the superb reputation, which can expand the, 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 the audience market and make us really a leader. And those were all investment decisions. And by the way, we have infinite growth, meaning that we were only in five countries and we could go to many other countries around the world. Um, but that wasn't really, for me, what cinched the deal. 